What's up guys, I'm Turbo John. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. We're over here at Dragwire Solutions, working on a hot rod again tonight. This is gonna be a very short video. I haven't recorded anything all night. Been here like five hours and it's go home time. Yeah, 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 we're tired. We're tired, boss. We're going to the house. <laughs> if y'all wanna support the channel, go to turbojohnracing.com, grab some hats and t-shirts. If you've not already subscribed to Austin's channel, go hit his YouTube channel up, his Facebook and his Instagram and TikTok. If you need something wired, he can get you hooked up, give him a call, shoot him a message on Facebook, Drag Wire Solutions. Appreciate it, guys. All right, guys, the second shift is clocking out. Is that, is that a good way to put that, Austin? Austin worked first and second. I worked first at my normal jobby job, and then second is over here working on a race car. So, so let me show you what we got done so far. Made a little bit of progress, but we hadn't got a ton done. Went and got some fittings today, so we got all this stuff done up here. Uh, I am going to end up moving this fuel pressure regulator over, over just a tad. I can't find a 90-degree fitting here that's got that 1 16th. And you see we got this loose. I'm in the process of putting another set of limiters on it. Actually, it's gonna be the same set of limiters, but what I'm gonna do is I bought a one inch clamp to go around this bar and we're gonna weld some brackets on it to make it extend up. We're gonna extend this chain down just a little bit. And basically we're gonna go off of this control arm. You guys tore me up in the comments. I had some professional assistance also. Uh, everybody thinks that's probably not the best idea. So we got that done. Uh, Austin's been working on the wiring. He has made a lot of progress today, but boy, look at, would you look at that? Oh my goodness. We got some, some tin work done. So this is, I think the way Uncle Mike wanted to do it. We got it riveted down. This stuff is working out pretty good. We got our weight bar clamps in back here at the back. This is all pop riveted. I just painted these little things up here um, so that's gonna hold that together once they dry. So we got that piece of carbon fiber. Now it's not gonna be, this thing's not gonna be super tight. I don't know what he's gonna wanna do like around these corners. Uh, I don't know, we're gonna let Mike figure that out. It may just be we have to put a big fan back here in the back and when we do a burnout, it sucks all the smoke out of the car. Uh, that may be the easiest thing. So we did make some good progress though, I'm very happy. It took a long time to get that piece of carbon fiber in there but it fits it works pop riveted down not gonna go anywhere we got to do uh shoot i guess we got to do a couple more pieces here i don't know how he's going to want to do those and then around over here on this four link bracket and then just box that in and then the tin work on the inside will be done back there uh still got to do he's going to do a belly pan underneath the car uh, it's going to go from under back here all the way up to the firewall here and then we'll do one in the front as well i'm gonna run a diaper on this thing as well but you know it is what it is uh, austin's already got some of these bright bright scarlet solutions lights up he's got the lights i don't know how many lights he's got in this thing <laughs> he says something about uh, when we turn on the lights we can work on the whole car without any pit lighting at all like we got light over here, we got light over there, we got light on the inside. He's gonna do one under the back of the car. So we're gonna be well lit up. So anybody, anytime we wanna get some YouTube footage, we're, we're not gonna be lack of lighting, that's for sure. So we got some work to do, uh, making sure that uh, my side, Austin will be done with his stuff shortly. And then my side, yeah, I've still got some, I got still got some stuff to do. He's making a video, gonna show you all the wiring that he is doing and what he's been doing, uh, working on it. That'll be coming out soon. Man, I can't get over the carbon fiber, Austin. I am super excited about the carbon fiber. It is, carbon fiber is the man's best friend, right? In the drag racers, isn't that what they say? Diamonds are a woman's best friend. Carbon fiber is a man. Pro, yeah, a pro mod. This is a pro mod. I can't, I mean, I, I can't hide. I mean, where I, if somebody says it's a pro mod, what can I say? I mean, I can't disagree. So, I don't know. So, we haven't showed this one yet. Austin's fixing to start doing some videos. What are you working on over here? Spaghetti. Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get this thing wired up. It's uh, had a big block Chevrolet in it with a blower. And now it has a 4.8 Hemi, Noonan Hemi. With a blower on. So. Lots of, that's a big change though, going from one to the other. It is. It's 
a little bit more difficult than I expected it to be. I thought it'd be a little easier, but there's a lot of changes. Yeah, that's crazy. And it's still not quite done. You see how they had to notch the firewall out. So that's got to go get firewall back in. And he had to completely redo all the harnesses, essentially. Everything from the firewall forward, we're having to redo it. So. Jeez. And this has got uh, fuel tech on it. Yep, fuel and, tech. And he's actually, they're taking it to the dyno next week. Next in Thursday, we're supposed to go to fuel tech with it. Lewis and all those guys will be helping them tune it. Austin is going to be a pro, a pro mod blower tuna. Tuna expert. expert, there you go. So this thing is pretty cool. Uh, this is, he's gonna show a bunch more videos on it too. So y'all make sure y'all subscribe to his channel if you've not. Uh, he'll be, you'll probably be tuning it at, at the track once it's all said and done, I imagine. Um, I know there's a couple other people in there now helping out, but you know, the yeah. thing is they can't go to the track every single time. Not every time, yeah. So, I mean, when they're the experts, but then they gotta cut you loose a little bit when you get going, yeah. so. This is a whole different animal right here. I know, it's, it is. It is wild. And this is not a screw blower. It's a, what, 1471? or it's a root blower, sir. It's a root style. I mean, that thing, but this thing, the parasitic losses of that thing, that thing is like hard it's, to turn. It's hard to turn. It is insane. And this is a hybrid fuel system. It has injectors up top that are mechanical injection. And then it's also got EFI fuel injection. What's the deal with the aluminum studs? I think it's with it backfires, the studs break and <laughs> let's the blower come up that, and then these straps catch it <laughs> that that's wild that is that is wild to I me i thought that was just a nitrous thing but it turns out it's not <laughs> that's wild uh and i have heard people say that they there are some nitrous things that use plastic studs yeah. Yeah. that is insane i've never seen that i would definitely i would break off those trying to screw them down for sure over tighten them they'd be like what happened i don't understand that's why we let Joey do that stuff. Right, yeah. He, so, and the maintenance on this, um, Joey over here, y'all seen him kind of in the background. He don't like being on, on the YouTubes very much. But he is kind of the lead mechanic working on this one. Um, it's not the Joey that's got the, that hangs out. We got a lot of Joeys. There's a lot of Joeys. Joeys. We got to rename some people. <laughs> right. So, Joey that is working on this one, uh, he was telling me the other day, he said after every pass, valve covers have got to come off and you got to go through the valves. Yep. Dude, yep, that's... That's insane. And then every pass or every five passes or the oil pan's got to come off so you can check rods. It's a lot of maintenance. It's a, lot it's a whole it's team. It is. It, it is. A whole race team. It is. I mean, wow. But it fits in there. Tim Bradham uh, over in uh, Fayetteville, they do all the, the chassis work stuff, and that worked out really good. They had to completely cut the whole front end apart to get it to fit, didn't they? They took a sawzall to the whole <laughs> firewall floor and cut it off and... That is in. All of it. That is insane. And double frame rod. And oh yeah, and double frame rod. Now the thing that y'all are really going to flip out about is Austin will go over it. This is a stock suspension car. It is stock suspension. When I say that, I mean it's got factory torque boxes. Not factory, but it's got the the factory style uppers and lowers. But this thing is radical, man. He just got through literally just building this harness here. This um, fuel injection harness just got done with that. It's crazy. We just got to finish up the engine harness next. Hopefully we'll fire it up Tuesday or Wednesday. Got to get that on video. Hopefully. Oh yeah, we will. Who's going to throw out a whack it? Can I come over and throw out a whack? I want to come throw out a whack. I'm not doing it. I'm just, standing back there. <laughs> I just want to stand right here in front of it and whop and just hit the throttle. I'm going over there. I'm not even going to be in here. It's going to rattle. The, it's got to rattle the cobwebs off the ceiling. That's <laughs> the dust. <laughs> that is hilarious. These things, I mean, it's got zoomies. I mean, it's a blower car. I mean, it is. They are ridiculous. I can't imagine driving one. It's got to be the most wild feeling ever. Y'all go check out Austin's channel, Dragwire Solutions. He's posting some videos of my car. He's doing some wiring. He's getting close on that. We hope to crank mine up soon, too. And and, and this one, I can't wait to see this one. This is going to be fun. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Later.